Hey, this is Sean of the Dead, and welcome to the next episode of Is It Worth It? Today, OFE, Main Street. Uh, this is a really cool amber bottle. Um, kind of looks sleek and smooth, especially for something called Main Street. Um, and the label is really cool. Um, especially when you get a chance to look at it, it's thin in the back, a little shield in the front. Uh, looks like they put a lot of effort into the, uh, the actual packaging of the juice itself. So if the juice is anywhere near the effort as they put into the actual packaging of the juice, then I can't see how this is going to be a bad juice at all. So um, looking forward to trying this one out. First one again is lemon berry. So let's try some lemon berry. I can taste the lemon with some subtleties of some, some berry. And since these aren't out yet, I can't tell you what kind of berry it is unless I can try to figure it out. So let's try to do that. Let's see. Hmm. I almost want to say raspberry or strawberry. So yeah, it could be a um, blueberry or a strawberry or raspberry, maybe blackberry. Did I say blackberry? I might have said blackberry, whatever. You know what I mean? There's so many berries out there. So I'm trying to figure out what those berries are. so familiar it's good it's really good obviously I just keep vaping on it so I mean it's obviously good and the lemon's not so like over the top like pow lemon it's a very subtle sweet smooth lemon in the background the subtlety of lemons coming out very sweet and smooth which is nice I like that uh, I don't like a really sharp lemon I like a smooth sweet lemon so this is right up my alley. Man, I, you know what that flavor is? I just can't place it. Oh, it's driving me nuts. You know, I had to call the guys and Pat was like, hey, what is in this? I said, I don't know. <laughs> so since I don't know what that is, I'm going to go to the next one before I get really frustrated. Um, this one is peach cobbler. That seems pretty self-explanatory, but I can tell you what kind of peach cobbler it is and if there's any subtleties of crust or anything like that, so. That's a very smooth peach cobbler. Um, you know how a lot of peach flavors, you have all, you start to exhale and you start to taste the tinglings of a little bit of peach, and all of a sudden it's like, peach! And then it's like, wow, where did that come from? That's a lot of peach. This is a very smooth peach. And it's kind of settled in with, what I guess would be like the cobbler mix, like the juice, uh, like the cinnamon, you know, thick juice and crust that's part of the cobbler. I would almost say that it has hints of graham cracker and cinnamon um, maybe a little custard in there along with some peach to form this peach collar would be kind of my guess now on to apple pie wait a minute where's the ice cream <laughs> it's like i just realized this isn't apple pie a la mode it's just apple pie but if apple pie is good by itself then you know apple pie is good if you don't have to hide it underneath the ice cream taste the cinnamon, I taste the, the smoothing of the apple, didn't taste like candy apple, 
again, they're doing a pretty good job of keeping their, their fruit flavors away from the candy department. Maybe a candy apple, you know, that'd be, you know, something like that perhaps. But no, this is, this is a nice non-candy flavored apple. It's more the cinnamon and the crust, and it feels like the filling of the pie itself versus the actual apple portion of it. I don't feel the crunch of the apple. I taste the other flavors of the actual pie. So let's try a nasal exhale and see how that changes the profile. Made the uh, cinnamon a lot much more sharp and sweet, uh, which is kind of nice. I like sharp, sweet cinnamon. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that was pretty good. Um, again, Main Street apple pie. So, uh, if you're in your favorite diner and you're having your apple pie and it's nice and warm because it's a nice warm vape, uh, what do you usually have with that? You have a cup of Joe, old-fashioned elixir is slated to come out on December the 29th of 2015. Oh, I can smell the coffee. It smells like I just opened a fresh can of coffee. Coffee flavors are sometimes difficult to get, get good and smooth. And I'm hoping that this is like, you know, your dad's coffee, like, you know, old school coffee, not just like Starbucks coffee. Mm. That's good. Tastes Brazilian. Um, maybe Costa Rican? Perhaps um, I kind of like to try a lot of different coffees from different regions, um, and that definitely tastes like more of a South American coffee. But I, I kind of think it's more of a Costa Rican or a Brazilian or something like that. Um, let's try the uh, nose exhale and see if it brings out any other subtleties. More of the earthy tones come out. Uh, it's not your dad's cup of coffee, unless your dad's like my dad and he likes, you know, espresso and French roast. And so this is kind of like my dad's coffee. I don't know if it's like your dad's coffee. But. I'm gonna have to go make some coffee after this because now I really want some coffee. Um, that is really good. Um, it's a nice dark roast coffee. I suppose it could be a French roast with a little bit of espresso uh, if they're doing a blend. But I'm not sure what, what, what subtleties they're looking for because I have no profile because this is a pre-release juice. So I'm just trying to figure this out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with South American um, and that is a, a darn fine coffee. That's, that's really good. So down to brass tacks, is it worth it? Well, since I don't have a price listing, I can't tell you what the prices are, but at standard premium prices, definitely yes. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe and stay fun.